What is up, everybody? My name is Fluffy Meow Kitty, and welcome to another Minecraft video. Today, I am going to be lowering my Minecraft music volume because it is very loud. And no, that's not what we're doing today. But I need to lower it. Alright, Minecraft music is lowered. Today, I will be doing a mod showcase on the Rival Rebels. I have it. Rival Rebels mod. So. Oh yeah, uh, Warlord of the West is also, he's not in the world, but he is on the line. Say hi. He fell asleep, didn't he? Well, anyway, we're gonna get right into it. Uh, starting off with the, uh, with the generated, I don't know what to call these, the, uh, structures, basically. So, the barricade, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the block and you're gonna place it down. Then you need to take your pliers. Get your pliers. Pliers, they're... They're not, they're not very expensive. You can kill chickens with them, too. Sorry, Mr. Chicken. Sorry, I love you. You're dead, though. Uh, and you're gonna right-click, and you're gonna see status constructing. Uh, I started constructing it a bit before, so it's pretty high. And there, we have a barricade. What kind of barricade is this? What is this? My dream come true. I love it. Oh, hi, you're back. Oh, Say, say hi to YouTube, he's hi. maniacal laughter, so that's the barricade, uh, heading over here to do the tower, let it, the tower, uh, status, you just gotta spam it until it goes. that's the tower, ooh, there's, this is, uh, it's not a piston, it's a spring block, I'm hitting my head, oh, these things are like ladders, and there we go, we're on top. Uh, redstone torches broke. Well, but this is the tower. Oh, that's awful convenient. I already have, like, a stack. Next up is the Easter egg. Hmm. Oh, that's awesome. Oh my god, it's snow golems jumping on the trampoline. Hey, that's awesome. You know what's really awesome? Uh, the snow golem, the snow golem party? Let me get in on this party, guys. Oh my god, I made them go flying really high. They're gonna die. Oh my god, I killed the snow golem party. They're going flying everywhere. It's, I broke it. Oh my god. I shouldn't have done that. Where'd the chicken go? Oh, now the chi Oh my god. Oh no. Oh. Mr. Chicken. I mean, this is a whole... <gasps> yeah, Warlord's oh, kind of crazy. Oh, uh, also, if you do go into your inventory, you'll see you have the regular Minecraft inventory and then the Rival Rebels inventory. Uh, this is all the cool stuff, and then this is just uh, a bunch of different sets of armor. I'm actually going to put this on. Because it looks cool. How does the helmet look? Oh, that makes uh -huh. me... That makes me look legit. Oh, there's also a troll face. I smell weird. You smell weird. You smell weird. No, you. Well, man, he's a liar. He's a murderer. No, he smells weird. He murdered the innocent people of Sheeple Evil. They were innocent. Oh, that looks even cooler. They have nothing to have. Uh, yeah, they did. They stole my potato chips. They stole your potato... See, exactly. This is the sort of thing I'm talking about. Just Bro, you murder. killed someone when they stole your pork shot, so don't even, don't give me any of that. Uh, the bunker I is, scared. next, that is anyway, ig reported. ignoring uh -huh. these false claims of murder, please don't call the police on me. The bunker, uh, it's really cool, it actually adapts to where, the environment that it's in. So, this is, the bunker is, oops, a chicken suffocated up. in it. So as you can see, bunker, and if we were to do it in a desert, it would be yellow. I don't know why it's gray. Maybe because it, I'd put it on stone. Uh, what it, uh, next up is weapons. I'm not sure if this is a structure. Oh, look. What did I do with this? Oopsies. I don't know what I'm doing. Doesn't like my pliers. No, not Twitch broadcasting. Ammo? Power. 
All right, they don't like my things. All right, so we're going to get rid of all of these. Oh, yeah. That's, uh, oh, we're going to go yeah. on to some of the weapons. Uh, yeah, so yeah. We, we got that. We got that. We got that. Let's see what else. That. 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 And that. That's right. <laughs> okay, so the M202RR. Pretty cool. Oh, I did not know. That looks weird. So much uh, it fu iron. Yeah. Oh, the iron is so delicious. Fire's mm -hmm. rock. It's really healthy. Uh, yeah, I ate it once and I died. So, yeah, as you can see, it explodes. You pulled that sizer. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's Looks like he's laying on the ground. It's pretty cool. Uh, no, the flamethrower. I don't care what you have to say. I can shoot laser. You can see the like flame. Uh, there's laser. different modes as well. You can see orders use R. You know, this one you can hit from pretty far away. Uh, if you hold R, though, you can see the different settings. Uh, we can turn it to that setting. It'll go slightly less far away. Oh, it seems already losing. And then if we change it to the last setting, oopsies. Uh, it's complete blue fire and you have to be like right in front of it. And a cool easter egg that not many people know about is if you do take an enchantment table. Oopsies. Take an enchantment table. You just toss this thing in there, get a random enchant. Oh. It will shoot a burst of green flame. And when that hits, it causes a... The snowballs are still going. It's a one, two, three. It's a six by six square of flame. And it'll, like, go really far away to bunker. It'll keep going until it hits bunker. It'll even go into the forest. Let's follow it. This is going to start a forest fire. Yep. Woo! Forest fires! Yeah, don't start forest fires in real life, it's bad. Uh, you know what? I've had enough of these snowballs. Ha ha, okay, I can't- Ha! They're burning! Ha on fire. Uh, I mean, obviously, non-flammable blocks won't burn, but they will be set on fire, like the stone. See, the stone is on fire. The fire actually does last for a while before it uh, fizzles out, and it fizzles out slowly. Uh, the Tesla. Looks really cool. Uh, so this one, on the first mode, it has more Uh, using R though, this one, like, you can actually move the dial, like, as, like, it's not three specific settings, but it's like, you, you guys know what I mean. It's slightly more to the break block, oh, this one doesn't break blocks. Uh, and the maximum setting is like, Notice the thing on it spins faster the higher the setting. Uh, 
Now the plasma cannon also looks really cool. Where'd it go? There it go. They all look really cool to be honest. This one shoots a blast. And it like throws things. For example, that egg. It'll even throw you if you're not careful. Ooh, and you're a pro. Thank you. Yeah, it's a rocket jump. Yeah, it's basically a rocket jump. Like, if you shoot right under you, woo! If you shoot right next to you, you'll go in the direction. Uh, I did manage to do this before. You just keep shooting, and eventually they just explode when they touch you. They explode when they hit a certain height. It'll throw mobs around. Oh, there they are. Snipe. Ha! Got him. Uh, this is going to throw mobs. Probably not the Ender Dragon. The Ender Dragon. Uh, the Iron Sten. This one is like. Really. It's pretty fire. Uh -huh. Fire. And this will, like, disintegrate mobs. Like, they literally explode into pieces. Uh, for example, Slash Summon... Zom... Unable to summon an object. Alright, well, do this the old-fashioned way and get a spawn egg. See this boy? He looking pretty salty, right? He's about to be... Oh, really? Come back here. Explode. That'll hit multiple of us too. And like the pieces go flying everywhere. They disappear eventually though. Yep. Uh this is the seeker. It's a more powerful version of the M202RR. But it doesn't just do that. Uh, the rocket is bigger. More accurately, the explosion. For example, M202RR. And this will come in handy when it comes to the last weapon, the M202 hack. Now this thing is really unstable, it shoots a nuclear missile that goes flying around in the air like crazy. When you fire it, it destroys the world. And now this nuclear missile is unstable, you can't aim it or anything, it'll just go crazy. If you want to get rid of it, oh wait, it might hit here, I want to, I want to, you know what? Let's let this one land. It, it's going to take a while, it might actually hit world height and explode because of that. Doop de doo. -doo. Like I said, it's crazy. Unpredictable. There is also one feature that I haven't exactly figured out yet. Uh, the B2 Spirit Bomber has me a little confused, but I will upload a video on that. Oh, there we go. Uh, yeah, now all this is radioactive. This will hurt you if you stand on it and survive a little hurt mobs as well. Uh, but anyway, about the B2 Spirit Bomber, I haven't exactly figured that out. I'm gonna try it in this video. If I can't get it to work, I'm gonna give it its own separate video. If I can't get it to work. Anyway, uh, M202 hack. There's the missile. And we're gonna fire a seeker, and you see it'll follow it. And it'll hit and create... A plasma explosion, like from the plasma cannon, and it'll destroy it. This is an epic pursuit right here. There we go. Oh, 
Also a nifty little thing. You can shoot a plasma cannon burst and then shoot a rocket after it. And the plasma cannon will, like, redirect the rocket. I lost the rocket. This, like, accelerates to, like, freaking light speed. You see? There it goes. Uh, alright. Clearing our inventory once again. Uh, I'm gonna try... Uh, to... Oh, there's some more weapons as well. Uh, these aren't that interesting, though. Uh, we have the Rada. What is, what is this again? It's this thing. It asks for a password. Oh, it throws gas grenades. Alright, that's not the password. Uh, Chuchillo is a throwing knife. You can pick it up as well. I don't think it's possible for a knife. Ever. And that thing will come back to you. It's cool. Uh. Gas grenade. This thing will blind you. And make you nauseous. there a zombie pig man sitting in the middle of that? Why? I don't- Ah, I'm blind again. What is the unbreakable? Is it unbreakable once you place it down? Oh my god, it's unbreakable! Let's not use that, because that will mess things up. Alright, so some other stuff that's interesting. The landmine, it'll camouflage to whatever block you put it next to. Or maybe it's under, I'm not sure. So, for example, put it right there. Walk over it, boom. Uh, let's say you wanna, you wanna put it here. Or there. a lot of damage. Uh, will it work like this? I'm not sure if it'll work with the snow blocks. Probably not. Yeah. Uh, another cool block is Mario. Oh, there's also, there's the radioactive stuff. Oh yeah, the plastic explosives are interesting. And the flares, forgot all this. Uh, where is the detonator. There it is. Put some blast explosives and the detonator. Ah, shift click to detonate. Let's get some, let's just see what one looks like. Sure, it just shoots up. What am I doing? Yeah, it just shoots up flame. And it explodes if you touch it. Good to know. Uh, where's Mario? Yes, there's something called Mario in this mod. I cannot find Mario. Mario! Is that Mario? That's Mario. It's also quicksand. Ah, camouflage 
punches as well. But let's say you want to. Let's do that. Let's say you put a nice hole there. Nice big hole. You a whole lot of damage to you know what I mean? Please stop. And Mario, this thing will turn into whatever block you put it next to, but if you put it next to another Mario, it just registers a gravel. So you wow, see this block? Yeah. Let's say, let's say, well, it'll turn into gravel when you walk on it, and you will fall. Now, let's, let's raise the stakes. Doop de doop de doop look at me, ha ha ha, ah! and you would die. No, oh, okay, okay. Oh, Good job, buddy. Oh, yeah. Alright, so we are going to try the thing I told you I didn't know how it worked. There's also some lemonade that gives you effects. Uh, Lord uh, Virtus yeah. Lemonade. <laughs> It does like songs too. And this one should give you a random effect. It makes weird eating sounds as well. Alright, so we're gonna get the controller and the LTDRR. And we're gonna try to work this out because I'm not exactly sure how it works. Alright, so, we're gonna put all this stuff in here, and then, I'm really- Do we, like, right-click it with this? Alright, so, here's what we need to get. We're gonna get nuclear and hydrogen rods. Uh, what else do we need? Uh, we need an antenna. Uh, we need- Plastic explosives. What else? I don't know. Ah, uh, yes, the nukes. We need a nuke top and a nuke bottom. And we're gonna toss all this stuff in. And then I'm gonna use the, my middle mouse wheel to duplicate. And we're gonna put that there, and that there, that there, that there, and then we need to grab chips. And we're gonna put a chip there, chip there, chip there, chip there. Now this is green. And I click it, and now it says three. Now, you see, I just can't figure out how to fire. Oh, there we go. Oops, I did a lot. Oh my god. What did I do? A lot of bad things. Red there. Stay here. Stay here. They're dropping. They're dropping more everywhere. What the heck? What did I do? I have no idea what the heck I just did. They're dropping everything? I don't know. They were dropping zombie pigment. Oh my god, I broke the mod. So I finally figured out how to do that, but then I also kind of broke it at the same time. <clears throat> Alright, good. This isn't just an island, because you guys already know what it's time for. The nukes. The moment you've all been waiting for. Nukes. There's some, also some wolves there. Sorry, buddies. Alright, so we're gonna grab some nuke top, nuke bottom, <clears throat> and nuclear rod. 
Uh, we're gonna need fuse, antenna, chip, and a time bomb. Now, to set up just your average, everyday, boring old nuke. Oops, not the pliers. You're gonna put a nuke top and a nuke bottom. And you're gonna take your pliers and you're gonna right click this front one right here. And you got a nuke. It says whack nuke. This is just the regular average nuke. Okay, it has a face on it too. Uh, now you're gonna right click right here with your pliers and you got a nuclear bomb. So we're gonna take the nuclear rods, we're gonna put them in, and you can see the megatons. If you don't know, the explosivity of stuff is measured in either kilotons or megatons. Megatons are bigger than kilotons. Uh, doggo, don't stand on that, you're gonna die. Uh, we're gonna put a chip here, and then grab it back. I'm gonna put the fuse here, grab it back. Time bomb there. And grab it back, and you can see it's armed now, and there's a timer. Doggo, you're gonna die. So now what will happen is when the timer reaches zero, it'll drop through the floor. It'll The block under it will disappear, and it will drop. So if you have it in the sky, it'll drop and hit the ground. As you can see, a uh, nuclear weapon is armed. We have ten seconds remaining. Uh, so that's a cool way you can try to drop it on makeshift plane. Oh, there it goes. And like I said, doggos don't stand there. And this shouldn't lag computers, because it actually, as you see, does not destroy all the blocks at once. You can also see the shot. Finding a new test site. Doo -doo -doo -doo. All right, so there is one bomb I could not figure out how to make the uh, tachyon bomb. I could not figure out how to make. But if you want to make a bigger bomb than the last one, you're gonna. Why am I hearing cave sounds? You're gonna set up your nuke tops and bottoms like this. Where'd my pliers go? Right, and you're gonna plier this one right here, right, right there, and there. You have your Sar Bomba. You could, I, I'm inside of it. Can I like... This is actually pretty cool. Uh, this was... This is meant to be a replica of the largest bomb ever tested... That humanity has ever detonated. Uh, the Soviet Union, uh, did it. Oops, F in the chat for the Soviet Union. Like, honestly. Because, uh, it was so powerful, the shockwave from the bomb circled around the world three times. Then, then we're like, alright, that's too much. So as you can see, the star bomb, it's a lot bigger. Now, as you can see, it's unbalanced. Now, I'm not sure what happens if you detonate it while it's unbalanced, but I'm not going to try to figure out what it is. Uh, there's, I see another wolf, buddy. Don't stand there. Uh, but once it is balanced, for this one, you also have to put nuclear rods in the top, but then hydrogen rods in the bottom. And you can see 50 megatons, twice as big. Fuse in, grab it out. Antenna, antenna. And chip. And time bomb. And we are armed. Now this one will set off a little alarm. Does it look any different inside? No, it doesn't. So it'll do the same thing with the drop. But yeah, guys. Uh, as you can see, the alarm is now going off. Radiological alarm, nuclear weapon arm, 10 seconds. This explosion is way bigger. You're gonna see it drop as well. I love, I love that. See, it drops, and then it's gonna hit. Bam.
I found a dungeon. What are the odds of doing that? Oh, the spawner is even still there. What is in this chest? Some music discs. Yeah. Is there another chest in here? No, there is not. I right, found some buckets. Uh -huh. Alright, uh, so yeah, those big, uh, time set, zero, is this the password? No, it's not. Uh, so yeah, as I was saying before, I could not figure out how to make the tachyon bomb. It's basically this particle that travels faster than light, so people don't believe in them, because they're like, you can't travel faster than light. Uh, but look, they're just gonna set it up like this. Uh, apparently to make the tachyon, you click this one, but it just makes whack nukes. Uh, but if you are gonna set up something like this and click the top one, you're gonna get your antimatter bomb. And that's pretty cool. You gotta admit. Uh, inside is an r slash cursed image, though. Wait, I saw it for a second there. Oh, I just have to be looking in the right direction. So for this one, the bomb will fizzle out if you do this incorrectly. Now, you're going to need redstone rods for here and nuclear rods for here, but here's the thing. They need to be enchanted or else the game will throw a hissy fit. And we don't want the game to throw a hissy fit, so... Also, the antimatter bomb is uh, just an epilepsy warning real quick because... Uh, the antimatter bomb is a lot of flashing lights, so don't watch this next part if you are sensed if you get seizures from f flashing lights, aka epi epilepsy. So please uh, just know that that is coming up. Uh, also, the rods look really cool in your hand. And like I said, when you throw them down, they don't move at all, so it's really cool. So uh, we're just gonna enchant this randomly. Doesn't matter what the enchant is, but they do like to get efficiency and unbreaking. Doesn't look any different in your hand once it's enchanted. Uh, and we're just going to be using the duplication again. Now, this bomb really is crazy. Alright, let me get our antennas in here. Or fuse. It's armed, and the chip is in. And this explosion is really weird. It, like, it confuses me a lot. Oh, we're actually kind of close to the sort of bomb, but that's not good. We're also in the middle of the ocean, but do let stop it now. I mean, you can stop it if you just go over here and you. Oops, I took the chip out. That's why it wasn't. If you were to take any of the components out besides these, it would stop. You see? Oh, it, it would stop if you took those out. Alright, so... I should probably leave because I don't want to be caught in this blast. I mean, if you're in survival, most of these will kill you, by the way. Big boy bombs. And there's the alarm. About to set off an antimatter bomb. Don't try this at home, kids. Oh, there it goes. Why are my, you see, all this my is the, this is the apple I'm Yes, they're still
but if a, if a mat if a matter atom oh is it done? Yeah it is. Uh, if a matter atom and an antimatter atom come in contact, the explosion will be a two millimeters in diameter. So one atom is already enough to harm humans. So imagine a bomb. Like you said. It's still making the noise. What is this? Oh an abandoned mine shaft. Interesting. Oh, it's loading in now. Uh, so, imagine you had a gram, you, the way to store it is you literally have to just suspend it in a vacuum. If it touches the sides, it'll explode. If it touches air, it will explode. Any matter. And they're exactly the same, except for the fact that one is opposite, like, a proton is an antiproton for antimatter. An electron is a positron. I'm not sure what the neutron equivalent is. But if everything were to suddenly turn to antimatter, you wouldn't notice anything different. They're literally exactly the same. Everything would be fine. Uh, I just got a lag spike. Spiking. La the lag is spiking. Alright, so we need to find a fresh habitat for our last bomb because it's insane. This is even more insane than that. I couldn't, once, once again, sorry about not figuring out the tachyon. Heck. Alright, good, a fresh island. Lasers. Lasers with them, huh? Yeah, Warlord is still here, don't forget about him, he's, he's important. Yeah, I got some turrets. We love him, but no, we like him. So, you're gonna build the Sarbamba config again. But instead of right-clicking the top, you're going to right-click the bottom, and you get this thing. Now this, my friends, is the theoretical Sarbon. You're your friends, huh? Yes, I have no friends. Please be my friend. What? Okay, that's a, well, that's a little insulting. So this is the theoretical Sarbomba. This is what the Russians were planning to create, but once they saw how much damage the 50 megaton one created, mm -hmm. they were like, all right, let's not do that. Yeah, let's not do this. Stupid now, if you look inside this, this like whole that. thing it has space for nuclear rods. 16 of them. You can see the megatons growing. 18. 25. Just, if you fill the top, you get 50. Going down here, increasing. Big to 75 and all the way up to 100 megatons also after this i i think we will be making a video on our survival world Is, would that be all right with you warlord sure all right and we're gonna toss in the fuse and this one oopsies this one is absolutely insane you thought the other stuff was insane just wait buddy just wait i was grabbing all our stuff here this explosion goes on for like five minutes. I'm not even joking. I'm like, I'm probably gonna end the video while it's still going on. It's massive. It goes up to world height. It, if you're flying, it takes so long to go up. It's insane. There it goes. Wait, hello? <gasps> uh.
Ah, que vira. 